Hey, this is Mike. Here's a 2015 Dodge Durango. Now, this is a, um, a pretty neat color. I'll do a video in the future, uh, near future, uh, during the day. But this is the night video showing you what the 2015 Durangos look like at night with the different light features, interior, and all that stuff. So, right now, the vehicle's off and everything's off. But this one has a remote start, so I'm going to go ahead and start up. Now I've got the lights set to automatic mode, so they'll kind of do their thing. But um, so so far we've got some LED light strips here below the headlights, and then some orange side markers. And then back here we've got that nice, awesome Tron-looking glow to the back lights. All right, so I'm going to go and unlock the doors. Now, when I unlock the doors, the um, I see the headlights are on now. So let's take a look at those. These are projector headlights, so they have a really high intensity beam. It's kind of like a magnifying glass, I guess you can say, focusing the the light straight ahead of the vehicle. So now that the doors are unlocked, I'm going to kind of reach in there and turn on the fog lights. Oh, I didn't turn them on. All right, now now they're on. I guess it's one of those on manual mode. They won't turn on. You have to turn it on. I mean, automatic mode. They have to turn on manual mode, and then push the button in. So there's the the fog lights. They're projector style as well. I know they're on now, so it's kind of the lights kind of glaring them out. Let's go ahead and do the turn signal. It's not going to work unless I push the start button. There we go. Alright, let's see what we got here. That's really bright. Looks pretty cool too. And then we've got that side marker flashing. And then we've got a light up here. It's got the yellow light. All right. So that's pretty much it for the outside. But I'm going to go ahead and open up the tailgate that's the automatic tailgate so it rained not too long ago so there's a little bit of drippy water going on here so all right back here we've got some lights here on the sides which that seems more convenient some of them have a light here in the center and you kind of when you walk up it kind of blocks the light but since it's on the sides um, you don't get too much shadow, especially when you got two of them. It kind of counteracts the shadows there, so that helps out a lot. And let's see if you can see in here. Yep, you can see in here pretty decent. And it's not like super bright or anything, but you can see in here. Seats, seats fold down like so. And you can see you got some light here in the. There's the light, the third row seat. I'm just going to hold the camera out there like that so you can see. Decent amount of light. It's, uh, 
it's adequate. So I can close this back down. Alright, so let's move on to this second row seat. Now here in the door, the only thing that's illuminated here in the second door, the back door, is this uh, the window. I don't see any other ambient light here. And got some light here in the center of the seat. Not much for the floorboard though. And with the black carpet, it kind of makes it to where you can't see very good in the floor, especially if you drop something. Got that light there. Got some lights there. This one has the heated seats, and then there's USB drives. Those are all backlit, which is easy to see, which is good. And there's your back seat. All right, here's the front door, driver door. You see, you have some ambient light there in that pocket with the bottle holder. And you've got some ambient light behind the handle here. And also here you've got your door lock controls, side your, your, your window controls, but you also have your side mirror controls that are illuminated, backlit. Some of the other vehicles, these were completely blacked out, so I'm kind of glad that they actually put that on this vehicle. Wish that they'd do that more often. All right, so now we've got some floorboard illumination. Nothing on the seat illuminated, but the the whole front is very well illuminated, floorboard and everything. Window controls are illuminated. And let me st step in here. Close the door. There we go. Then the lights, interior lights fade away. So we're left with the a little bit of light there on the floorboard. If you can see that, that paper kind of helps out. Do you have a little bit of light there on the floorboard? Not seeing any on the passenger side, but the driver's side does have some, you know, I guess foot pedal illumination. Real, real light. Not too, uh, too bright or anything, not to distract you. Steering wheel, everything's backlit. Very cool looking, very convenient. Easy to see. You know, you know exactly what it is. Here's your center gauges. Now, I have everything really bright. I, I scrolled up. I could scroll it down and kind of dim everything, including the screen. But just for the sake of you seeing it, I've got everything very bright. And that's what that looks like. And of course, you know, you can change to the settings and stuff. It has a nice big screen. This one has the start button there. That's illuminated backlit I should say nice bright screen everything is bright and easy to see here pretty decent resolution on the screen down here I'm gonna turn the screen off just to show you how what it looks like when the screens off and you got all these backlit buttons which I think is amazing and down here We've got your uh, SD card, USB, and auxiliary inputs there. They're all backlit. Kind of reminds me of Tron in here now. And you've got your uh, power supply there. Now there is a little bit of ambient light here. Apparently coming back here. Has a little bit of a bluish tint, I guess you could say. And it's kind of giving a little soft illumination in this pocket, which is good. I like that. There's your shifter. The cup holders are illuminated with these light blue illumination here. They're not illuminated down in too far, but just this gives it plenty, plenty of light for a cup holder anyway. There's a little pocket here. Can't really see it. Let me turn the light on so you can see that pocket. No illumination there. Center console lifts up and it's completely dark. Let's shine the light here. 
maybe the second pocket sip it second opening will have a little bit yeah it's got a little bit of light in there the first little shallow pocket no light second pocket a little tiny bit of light there glove compartment actually does have a little bit of light that's cool you've got your 911 and assistance buttons there are illuminated and color coded the place where you put your sunglasses is dark and then you've got your buttons up here which are all illuminated which is awesome tap lights that one's more like a flood this is more like a spotlight you tap on the light for the flood you tap over here for the spotlight and your visor has a mirror with lights I'm just going to turn the lights on so you can see the interior lighting in here. Turn that back on. Alright, 2015 Dodge Durango. Now this is the nighttime video. I will have a Check my channel soon, if not already. Um, in the near future, you'll see a daytime video where I go through all the features. This is just to show you the light lights at the nighttime. All right, I'll see you next time. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you have anything to add or correct, leave it in the comments. See you next time.